in our stool and the glue is set, let's move on to our tabletop. I'm going to show you how to do a dado head cut move today. Now, a dado is just a carpenter's term for a groove cut into wood. And if you use the word dado, your wife will think you're real intelligent. Right, Al? I'm not married, Tim. Well, if you use it in a conversation, you know, maybe you get lucky. Cutting that dado, we're going to be using something that looks a lot like this. Here you go, Tim. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is the Binford Mach 3 Super Plunge Router. Oh, a thing of beauty, isn't it? Three horsepower motor, variable electronic speed control, and adjustable depth stop system. When using a router, you want to use a real steady hand. Well, you might want to use the guide arm, Tim, so it doesn't get away from you. Well, you <laughs> don't always have to use the guide arm if you have a steady hand. Well, if you want a straight line, Tim. Al, I've been doing this for years, all right? <laughs> okay. Start our cut, set your depth gauge, and get going. Perfect, Al. Just does a good job of scrolling. Uh. <laughs> While Al uh, cleans up this deliberate mess of mine, I'd like to uh, welcome a new family member to Tool Time, Alpena, Michigan. Cold in the winter. Pretty cold in the summer, too, isn't it? <laughs> Kid around with you. It's channel 97 there in your cable box. And I'd like to give the folks up there in Alpena, Al, uh, Al, there he is. Uh, tool time greet. What do you say, Al? Uh, uh, come on, guys. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. <laughs> That's about all for tool time today. I'm Tim the Tool Man Taylor. Hoping, hoping that all your fasteners stay tight. See you next time. Good show, Al. Good show. Yeah, right, Tim. You know, I'm installing a satellite dish this Saturday. You mean the one we used on the show last week? They almost gave it to me. Demo cost. Cost me nothing. I'm happy for you, Tim. I was kind of hoping you could stop by Saturday, maybe have a lunch, and help me put it up. Oh, gee. Well, I was kind of hoping to have the weekend alone. Kind of a private man time. Al? Oh, good. Al. Yeah? What time did you say you wanted to come over tomorrow and help me put up my bookshelf? Oh, <laughs> uh... How about 9 o'clock? That's perfect. I'll see you then. Bye, Tim. See you, Lace. Kind of that private man time, huh? <laughs> well, she's a co-worker, Tim. I, I think of her as a man. That's why you're still single, Al. Once we get that satellite dish put up on the roof there, run that coax cable down the wall there, Mark. Run it through the house, soft it here, attach that TV set, and we are equipped to get 200 stations. 200 stations? Yeah. Great. Now it's going to take 45 minutes for you to find out there's nothing on you want to watch. <laughs> uh, hey. Can you smell that? That's, that's diesel fumes. That's a turbo diesel. That's, that's 16 speeds. Tandem axle. That's a delivery truck, huh? You can smell that? <laughs> <laughs>
I sure can. Come on, help me out. Go out in that front porch and see if that delivery truck's on the way, because I think our satellite dish is coming. Let me know when it's in. Oh, great. You're a lifesaver. No, no, no. No, today is fine. Come right over. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Okay, bye-bye. Who was that? Rondal. Rondal. Yeah, you know, the teacher from that job search seminar I've been taking? Why is he coming over here? Well, last Monday after class, we were having coffee, and he said that anybody who needed... I'm out. Flag that play. <laughs> you, you had coffee with Rondal? Yeah. yeah. You didn't tell me... Didn't tell me about this coffee. Oh, I'm sorry. It was cream, two sugars. <laughs> well, was it coffee or coffee and dancing? Uh, <laughs> Tam, don't be silly. I, it was a few of us went out for oh, coffee after safety class. Safety and numbers thing. <laughs> and Wondell said that if anybody needed any extra help, that we should give him a call. So you sprinted right over the phone and called him. Yes, he's going to help me get my resume in order for that job interview I have Monday. Giving up his whole day Saturday. That guy must have a pretty understanding wife. He's not married. How'd you find that out? During coffee? I don't want to be dancing. <laughs> You know, what is the matter with you? Don't you trust me? No, it's not trust. I'm just, I'm just not sure that a man would give an all-day Saturday for a woman unless he wanted something in return. Tam, he's just a good guy. He's helping me out. Don't I recall you telling me that he was this big, strapping, cute, big hunk kind of guy? You know I never said that. Is he kind of cute? No, some people would say so. Cuter than me. Some people would say so. Hey, this is cool. Excellent. Yeah. That's true parabolic shape for superficial reflectivity, man. Mr. Taylor. We sign this, please. Sure, man. Oh my God, this thing is huge. How are you ever gonna get that up on the roof? Well, that's why I have that pulley ratchet system set up up there. <laughs> well, you gonna put this up yourself? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 Tim, what do you actually know about installing a satellite dish? Simple. Mount it, point it straight up, any man could do that. <laughs> yeah, but, but it has to stay up longer than 10 seconds. <laughs> Must be Rondell. Oh, boys, look, it's a dancing coffee drinker. Hey, Tim, this interview is really important to me, and this guy's going to help me. Please behave. I promise I will be a perfect gentleman the entire time he's here. How does this thing work, Dad? Well, use your imagination, if you will. You look up there, there's satellites orbiting the planet sucking up information from every corner of the globe and spitting it back down here in this parabolic dish. Now, this is very dangerous, though, satellite dishes, because they have a pulse of their own, and if you if you don't watch out, they can suck in. Yeah. 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 Rondal Kittleman. Rondal, this is my husband, Tim. Hi, Tim. 
And these are my boys. That's Randy, Mark, Randy. and Brad. Hi, guys. I was, um, <clears throat> I was just showing the kids how scientific these... We just got this. Oh, really? It's beauty. Help me, Dad! It's sucking me! Oh, me. No. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't know where they get these ideas. Come on, you guys. Come on. <laughs> Mommy, look. I got a splinter. Oh, honey. Well, let's go get the tweezers and we'll get that out. Will you excuse me? Hmm. Just a minute. Well, honey, hope you realize I'm going to have to use the needle. No! <laughs> so, Jill's told me a lot about you, Ron. Rondal, it's Rondal. Great name. <laughs> you know, you look familiar, right? Well, you probably see me on TV. I got my own home improvement show. Jill told you about it. No, she didn't mention it. Oh, right, right, right. Wait a minute. Of course, of course. That's why you look familiar. You got that little tool show on the cable. Well, you know, we don't look at it as little because we pick up a lot of cities. We just got Alpina. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. Both sets? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting you there, pal. It's pretty funny, Rondo. Oh, um, <laughs> do that, that, that thing you do on the show, that, that barking sound, that... Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's really not barking, it's more like a, a, a simian, a grunt. Oh, oh. Yeah, barking, grunting, whatever. It's very funny. Very funny show. You're very funny on it. But, but it's not all fun and games. It's a home improvement show, basically, is what we do. Well, yeah, but you're, you're very funny on it. I mean, not like the other guy on the show, the guy who knows everything. <laughs> Al's my assistant. He uh, assists me. I think I got everything ready. Do you want to get started? Sure. Yeah, I'd like to help you guys, but I'm going to finish up that satellite stuff. Can I take a coat? No, oh, thank you. Your, uh, your husband's putting up a satellite dish, huh? Yeah. yeah. This afternoon. Uh, I hope you have some help. Don't need any help, Bondo. <laughs> now I'm going to do it all by myself Tim, maybe you should call Al Because, you know, he really knows about all that stuff <laughs> Al is my assistant He assists me Yeah, I, I think you should listen to Jill You know, when I had mine put in I had a couple of guys from Global View Satellites installing Did you? It must have cost you a pretty penny, huh? Well, you know, it was worth it when you consider that the installation requires a precise calculation of the declination angle of the dish in relation to the equator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slightest deviation in the dish is useless. Of course, you know that. Goes without saying. <laughs> Tim, call Al. Al is busy today. <laughs> of course, the important thing right now is that you just get that dish up on the roof. No problemo, Ron Danello. <laughs> Wilson? Wilson, are you back there? Right here, good neighbor. I was wondering, when you watch my show, Tool Time, do you think I'm funny? Well, I've got to be honest with you, Tim. I've never seen the show. <laughs> You've never seen my show? No, no, no. But I don't have a television. Everybody's got a TV. Not me. I just use my imagination, watch the pictures inside my mind. <laughs> Cuts down on reruns then, doesn't it? Not really, Tim. There's always deja vu. <laughs> Tim, I got the feeling you got something more on your mind than television. Eh, not really, Wilson. 
It's just Jill is working on a resume with this guy. A know-it-all type. Trying to impress her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that worries you. Well, I'm not jealous. You know, I'm the least jealous guy on earth, really. Curious thing about jealousy. Usually, it stems from insecurity. There's no insecurity here. I'll tell you that. However much I'm not jealous, I'm twice as much not insecure. <laughs> well, you should be secure, Tim. You've got what every man dreams of. Yeah. Satellite dish. <laughs> you know, Tim, three strapping boys, a nice home, a loving wife. <laughs> You're so right. Jill and I share so many great things. Memories, great food we love eating, you know. Laughter. <laughs> Nobody makes her laugh like I do. Some measurements for this cable, so you guys uh, just pretend like I'm not here. Okay, okay. Now listen, about this interview, mm. I was going to wear this blue suit mm. with a plain white blouse. Now, is that just too blah? No, I like white. It's simple, but it's classic. It shows you're not a slave to trends. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what was that, Tim? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. I was, I was thinking about that joke. She didn't know what to say. <laughs> it just took me a while. So anyway, yeah. Rundall, this jacket has really big shoulder pads, mm -hmm. so should I take them out? Because, you know, you hear about how wide shoulders make your neck look small and geeky. No, 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 no. Wide shoulders show that you bear responsibility. <laughs> You know, get back to the resume. Okay. Um, I brought some samples over, which I left in the car. I'll go get them. Be right oh. back. Okay. <laughs> what was this? Shovel and manure. <laughs> You're not buying this crock. I love this stuff. Well, shoulder pads show strength and motion. And color just brightens your eyes. I know, I know. It sounds really stupid, but the guy is a professional. He knows what he's doing. Now, what is the matter with you? What's the matter with me is I'm seeing a guy in my house hitting on my wife. What? Oh, come on. Don't be so naive. Wait, you see what's happening here? No. Guy's over here on Saturday. Drinking coffee, making you laugh. <laughs> oh, God, you're right. How could I have missed something so obvious? He's obviously just a great big walking hormone. <laughs> you laugh, you make jokes. I can smell testosterone right here. <laughs> Oh, 
and just a wee bit of estrogen thrown in, huh? Look at this. Tim, get out of there. That is his personal property. Look at this. Breath mints, cigarettes. <laughs> now I got it. This is before. This is after. You know, there may be a very good reason for him to have breath mints. I mean, Rondell may just have bad breath. Actually, I don't. Oh. Oh, Rondell, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. I just, you know, sometimes when people smoke, they have bad breath. Will you excuse me for a minute, please? I want to take a seat. Yeah. Right, Tim? I haven't worked in a really long time. I'm really nervous about this interview that I have Monday. This guy is trying to help me. This guy would be helping himself to you if I wasn't here. He'd have his hands all over you. No chance of that. You haven't left us alone for more than ten minutes. Is that what you want? Ten minutes? I just, I just want to finish my resume. Excuse me, Ron Dahl. I'll be up on the roof completely out of sight. You won't even hear me rest a day. I can't hear a thing. I'll be up there all by myself. I am so sorry for all the interruptions. That's okay. Maybe we can do this another time. Oh, but my interview at the Duncan Phillips Agency is on Monday. Oh, uh, okay. Well, then let's finish your resume. We're almost done anyhow. Thank you. Um, what time is your appointment on Monday? It's 2 o'clock. Uh, why don't you and I have lunch together? Are you saying uh, lunch just you and me? Just no, the two of, us? of course not. No, I'm a good friend of the VP of sales over there, and I thought maybe you could join us before the interview. Oh, great! This would be a tre tremendous help. Gee. Now, um, when you put down your educational information, make sure... That, you know, I'm sorry, I forgot. My friend won't be back from Cleveland on Monday. Oh. Huh. But you and I could still get together. No, wait, wait, you mean that we're back to uh, you and I alone together? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jill, you know your husband's hanging from the roof, <laughs> spying on us. No, no, he's not spying on no. us. No, he's just hanging upside down. Um, he does that all the time to check things. Mm. I think he has a problem with me. No, he really likes you. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a little bit uncomfortable with me. And I think it's because he's sensing what I've been sensing. Which is what? Well, you have been sending out signals. Signals? What signals? Well, you asked me out for coffee after class. Oh, no, 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 no. That was just, there were four of us. You were just across, way across the table. Oh, yeah, but, you know, every time I turn around from the blackboard, I see you staring into my eyes. No, that's, that's just paying attention. That's a good thing. I don't know why you're fighting it, Jill. There's obviously something happening between us. I mean, I feel it. You feel it? It's chemistry. No, I loved chemistry. Jill, <laughs> you're playing hard to get. I love that. No, no, I'm playing no get. I am a no get woman. I'm a happy, uh, married, no get woman with a with a wonderful husband. <laughs> Here's Mr. Wonderful now. Honey, are you all right? I'm testing the safety line on this, honey. Uh, 
Rundahl, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Oh, 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 that's good, that's good. That's good, you're pretending to throw me out because your husband can no, see us. No, I'm really throwing you out. I think you should speak a little louder, you know, so we can hear you. Here's your coat. <laughs> There's the door. Oh, that's a good touch with the jacket. I like that. <laughs> Look, Rondal, you want a signal. Uh-huh. Here is your signal. Wait a minute, I'm confused. Does that mean we're not having lunch? Get out! <laughs> embarrassed. I feel like such a fool. Could you untangle that rope? Up? You were right. That slime came on to me. He wanted me to have lunch with him. Get him out of here. Come out of here. Good for you. He said I was sending him signals. Jill, could you just untie this Never knot? Never send signals. I know you wouldn't, Jill. We could talk about this some other time. My legs are I'm really so numb. I'm so sorry. I just never realized. You know, I'm a married woman. I got three kids. You're a beautiful, intelligent, sexy woman. And he'd be a fool not to hit on you. Oh, Tim. Hey, hey. Look. <laughs> Would you cut me down, please? Yeah, I like you like this. <laughs> All right, settle in. 200 channels of family entertainment. <laughs> Seen it. Seen it. Seen that. <laughs> Seen it. Seen it. Seen it. Will you slow down? Just let me have that thing. Oh, boy. Okay, what's that? Sumo wrestling from Japan. Ito, ito. Seen it. <laughs>